I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. So if you've been bitten by a tick, a lot of times people kind of panic. The first thing they do is try and pull at the tick, but it's never a good idea to squeeze something attached to your skin from the back because the hydraulics of it, think about a tick as a sack of germs. You don't want to push things towards your skin, you want to actually move them away from your skin. And so what really is the best strategy is to have a pointy tweezer like this, this Tickies tweezer here. It has a pointy end and a scoopy end for if it's close to the eye and you don't wanna poke your eye out. But something this pointy allows you to squeeze the tick close to the skin and then pull it out so the hydraulics of the issue is back rather than forward. Once you have the tick out, you've got it in your tweezers, the next most important thing to do is to not just throw it away because most people don't know how to identify a tick correctly. And then if you don't, you won't remember what type of tick and what germ it might transmit. So we recommend that people put the tick in a plastic Ziploc bag. I think that's why they invented Ziploc bags actually to put ticks in. And once you have the tick there, when you take a, a few minutes to calm down, make sure you take a clear picture of the top side of the tick. And you can always send that picture to tick spotters on the Tick Encounter website. And we'll get back to you within 24 hours telling you both what kind of tick it was, how long it's been attached, and also what germ it likely or maybe didn't likely transmit to you. 